and Floyd Mayweather, I'm 50 and on that whole throat, the whole gang hit, and we all none in our mouth. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a bitch, I'm a lesbian. I love how Gucci is wetty. I hit her back in the Chevy, she calling me daddy. Shawty be on it, she ready. Her pussy out, then it gets heavy. She call like a deli. Shawty call, she the one. Baby, love to have. What's good, it's your girl, Imani P from the DMV. You already know where I'm at, you know where I be. Welcome to my channel, my verses, where I talk about music, culture, and more. Today, I'm talking about a, sub, a topic that's a little bit late, but all my topics are late because I run on CP time. As you haven't noticed, I am the. And it's just a thing. We run on CP time. No, we don't. That's a stereotype. Do not listen to me. I just lied. It's true. <laughs> Today we are talking about Jesse Nelson and the whole song with the boys with Nicki Minaj. Um, let's tackle this. There's a little bit to tackle here, hunty. Um, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and this video. Uh, make sure you check my Spotify playlist, which is my verses. I got two playlists coming very, very soon. And check out my music blog, which is at coolinggang.blog. All the links are in the description below. Let's do it, baby. Do it, baby, scoot it, baby, boo, and baby, boop it. Whatever uh -huh. she says. And... Twerk. All right, so Jesse Nelson is a British singer from the British girl group Little Mix, where she dropped out of that or like left the girl group back in 2020. So if you don't know who Little Mix is, they're a British girl group consisting of four girls. Well, there was four girls before she dropped out. Um, I think there's three now. So it's Jade, um, Perry and Lee Ann, and then there was Jessie before she left in 2020. I don't know why I keep repeating myself that she left, but she left, okay? Um, they rose to fame in 2011 as the first girl group to win British X Factor. Um, they always kind of reminded me of Fifth Harmony because I think around the time that Fifth Harmony, which is uh, an American girl group, where uh, Normani and that Camille C Cabello, them, um, they all rose around the fame with X Factor at the same time. So I never really watched X Factor. I fell off of those type of shows a long time ago because everything was like that. There was like a surge of every show was like that when American Idol came out. But um, I always got them kind of mixed up. I didn't even know Little Mix was around still until recently. I didn't know people actually listened to them. I never got into them. I also never really got into Fifth Harmony either. So don't even look to me for nothing when it comes to that because... I just never got into it. She released her first solo song called The Boys, um, featuring Nicki Minaj. Um, yeah, Nicki's very funny and she's just not making good decisions right now in her career. And I really hope she gets out of this little slump that she's in because she's tarnishing like what I think she has built so hard for the last 10 years, you know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. So the song The Boys featuring Nicki Minaj came out on October 8th um, of 2021. I did listen to the song once and it is very trash. <laughs> it samples the Bad Boys for Life song by Puff Daddy. It's like three minutes long. Um, I'm gonna get into the lyrics because I feel like the song is just not good. Um, Jesse Nelson is cultural appropriating, yes. Um, or what you guys like to call it, like black fishing. She is because um, she just is like, let me show you some pictures. Like, I went to her Instagram live. She told me, my hair is always this curly. I'm always this dark. No, you're not. If you have to tell me that you always look like this, you don't look like that. And you know, it's okay to be your race. I don't try to look any other race other than the race that I am, which is black. And she should do the same. Just be, uh, let me just, anyway. The song is apparently about her ex-boyfriend. I don't know who he is, but it's about her ex-boyfriend. Um, It's about her wanting a bad boy. It's like an R&B hip hop sound. And they have all this blackness in it. They all the people in the background are black and she's going like this and she's going like this and stuff. Like you don't have to do that if your song is R and B and hip hop. Like Ariana Grande, yes, she has had her black fishing days. 
she was never in her music videos going pop blocking it. You know, like she wasn't doing that. She sang over the little R&B beat or the hip hop beat and she moved on. She didn't really try to be a light skinned, a biracial black girl. Like she ain't do all that. You don't need to do all that either. Jessica Nelson. Is that your name, Jessica? I think that's nice. Before I get into the lyrics, I feel like Nicki Minaj's Instagram live with Jesse Nelson was trying to defend her. I understand where she was trying to just be like a good support system to her and a good friend to her. But I feel like in that case, she should have just been quiet and just minded her business because Nicki, like, the girl was wrong. And I feel like defending that made her look even crazier. Because around the time she was going through that thing with her husband and the girl had came out on the reel talking about what happened. And she was just looking crazy. Um, a couple weeks ago. She's been kind of quiet, which I think is really good that she needs to do, but she was just looking crazy defending that girl. I just be like, I just be like, Nikki, you don't have to do the shenanigans. You don't have to, girl. You don't have to. Telling like, oh, black women straighten their hair, you know, black women put on wigs and stuff. Wigs is not exclusive to a culture. Everyone has had a wig on since the beginning of time. Like everybody, it's not a cultural thing. It's a woman thing, I guess, right? No, because men wear wore wigs back in the day too. George washed them. So it's just an everybody thing. Um, the blonde hair thing. Like I said, like a lot of black people have blonde hair. I have some family members that have sandy blonde hair and then brown eyes. I have some friends that look that way. It's not exclusive to a race. I think people need to get out a little bit more, read a little bit, watch some YouTube videos. I don't know. This stuff is free information. I don't know, man. But I feel like she didn't need to do that IG live. She just looked ridiculous to me. Um, let me get into the lyrics because I don't understand why Nicki and Jesse Nelson were trying to defend this song when it just originally was terrible. The song was good. I see why you're defending it, but the song is terrible. So why y'all defending this song? Come on now. Okay, lyric number one. The hole that you got should be criminal. My mama won't see what I see in you, but I don't want it if it ain't bad enough. I don't know what it is. Are we 12, Jesse? Being attracted to a male because he's dangerous is giving me 12 years old. Every woman that is an adult in their right mind and not 12 will not be attracted to a male that is dangerous. Men are scary. Let's just be honest. Y'all are scary. Next lyric. <laughs> oh, I like them tattoos. Them gold teeth. Type to make me feel like a bad D. Them. Got a little attitude, but I think it is cute. So hood. So good, so damn taboo. No, you know how to please me. Like it raw, baby, Shashan me. Ooh, child, let me go, let me go pray. Eric, I don't know what your demographic is when you came out with this song. I don't know if you're trying to like hit with preteens or teenagers, but like these lyrics are very young. I know you're like almost like around my age, a little bit older actually. You didn't need to do this to get clout. You really didn't. I don't know why you did, but you need to do this. Why are y'all defending a song that's not even good? If I was Jesse, I would've just took the L and tried again and apologized and just would've went with my race and understood. Cause not everybody is gonna look at you funny for the rest of your career. Cause then you know the internet never forgets. The North always remembers. I do like how the video is giving me like early 2000 vibes with like the little white dudes coming out and they're all professional and rich and now they're gonna get disrupted by the blacks and Jesse Nelson. Ciao! See, when she said that lyric about the gold teeth, it was a black dude, Jesse. This is my first time ever hearing Jesse Nelson too. And now I'm gonna be looking at her funny when she makes songs in the future. Hopefully she has like a better team that a little bit more cognizant of what she's trying to do. And why is Puffy in this? You know, Puffy's another dude that just be letting people do whatever. And then he want to talk about some, I'm with the community. Ooh, call me love. Puffy, 
pay them people back their money and then we can all talk and trust you again. Let's see what Nikki look like. At least Nikki always look pretty in her video. She's a pretty girl. It's just... She look like um, Christina Aguilera from 2002. It's just she a real type of like sushi. I eat sushi, but I don't know why I be eating. I be eating it all. I eat every type of food, y'all. Yeah, she should have known not to do this. I just like we're in a day and age where people are like less tone deaf and they will look at this if she had a good team and just be like, yeah, you don't need to do all that, girl. Okay, let me stop this video. I see, I understand. I see, his dad saying she like bad boys. She thinks she biracial, light skin girl. Okay. Anyway, tell me what y'all think in the comments below about my commentary and how the video looks. I think the video is well produced. I just feel like it's a little bit tone deaf. I wish I was on her team to at least help guide her a little bit. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video on this channel. Um, I'll see y'all real soon because I'm that girl. Bye. I'm bad, she winning. Niggas mad, they spinning. Daddy strokes, so I'm hitting. Bitch, I'm a little nigga with a big strap. I ain't talking about the pole, but my. Is I hit her back in the Chevy, she calling me daddy. Shawty be on it, she ready. Her pussy out the nick is heavy, she call like a deli. Shawty call, she the one. Baby love to have fun, her head go dumb. Got me feeling like pun. Girl just wanna have fun. She twerking and throwing it, baby no. She a pro with it, been a low. Touch her toes with a slap to the floor with it. Show me more, I need more of it. How low can you go with? I love her energy, baby hotter than wind. Turning up in the city, showing them titties. Ass shaking, she litty. Bad bitch, she big. I thought it was push, bitch said something. Shy shit whack, she ain't say nothing. Shy just mad cause I ass got passed for a thick little bitch with a lace on. Pussy stay, pussy stay hitting, she different. All bad, she winning. Niggas mad, they spinning. Daddy strokes, I'm hitting. Bitch, I'm a little nigga with a big strap. I ain't talking about the pole, but my dick in the back. Watch how bitch fold when I hit her with the Mac. I'm taking bitch's souls, I ain't giving shit back. These bitches love me, they dig me. Cause it's moving, I'm jiggy. Love voice, but a bitch.